Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith and this is R.L. Allen Long Primer 101. Okay, so the flagship Bible from R.L. Allen is the King James Version Long Primer. But they don't just make one of them, they make a bunch of different options of the Long Primer. And a lot of times people get confused because there's these different numbers, 43, 53, 52, 62. It's hard to keep up, particularly when you are new to the premium Bible world and you don't know exactly what all those numbers mean. But as far as I'm concerned, the KJV Long Primer from Allen is the best of the best when it comes to King James Version Premium Bibles. There's, there's some other options out there that I really love, but this is just a classic. I love the, the vintage look and the feel, and I think that really matches the King James Bible. So I really love this, and I thought it would be good to do a quick overview, a, a Allen Long Primer 101, if you will, to give you the basics on these Bibles. Now, I have done a full review on each of these Bibles. I've done some comparison videos. I've done some fun unboxing videos. And I have a playlist, a Long Primer playlist. If you click right here, you can watch those videos. You can see all of the different Long Primer videos that I have. This is just a quick overview. So what is the Long Primer? The Long Primer is a Bible that was developed in the 1950s, 1952 from Oxford University Press. Allen has been printing it for almost 70 years. They have the exclusive rights to printing it. And so they take this vintage typesetting from Oxford. They have it bound by Royal Youngblood in the Netherlands, beautiful paper, not bound. They have it printed by Royal Youngblood in the Netherlands. Then they have editions that are made with Highland goatskin that are bound in England. And then some of them stay at Royal Youngblood and get bound in calfskin. So um, they, they announced a few years ago that they had gotten a copy of the Long Primer from the mid-1950s, and they did new scans of that. So all of the current modern Long Primers are based on scans of an old vintage copy of the King James Version Long Primer from the 1950s, which is really cool. So, And that's what this is about. It's called the Long Primer because this typesetting that's in the Bible, this beautiful, crisp font, that's what it's known as, and that's where it gets its name, is the Long Primer name. And every single one of these Bibles, it's important to know, People ask me a lot about type size, font size. Every long primer has a 10 point font. The size of the typesetting does not change in these Bibles. It's other features that make them different. So I'm gonna start with this one right here. This is the classic kind of standard flagship long primer. It's called the 53. So 53 is your starting point. A 53 long primer is bound in Highland goatskin. It's got a beautiful full yap, lovely Allen art gilding on the page edges. It's got long ribbons. And it's made on, third, the new ones the, for the last few years have been made on 36 GSM paper. So that's the standard long primer. I'll throw a couple pictures in here so you can see what it looks like up close. It's beautiful. It's, it's just absolutely stunning. Really great Bible. I always tell people if you're not sure which one to get, the 53 is a great option. Now, these two over here, this is kind of the standard, right? So I have the 53. At the bottom here, a couple years, I think it was 2015 maybe, they released the 63. Again, same typesetting, 10-point font on the inside. It's just slightly bigger all the way around. It has slightly larger margins. It's called the 63 Sovereign. Still Highland goatskin, full yap, long ribbons, uh, printed by Royal Youngblood in the Netherlands. Bound, these are bound, the new ones are bound by Charfleet in England, but it's got slightly wider margins and slightly thicker paper. This is a 38 GSM paper versus the 36 of the 53. So that's the 63. Then a couple years after that, I think it was 2017, they released the 43 Long Primer Thin Line. So the Thin Line is thinner paper. It's a 28 GSM paper, slightly thinner margins. It does not have full yap, so they call it a Thin Line. It's just a smaller version. So I have actually a, a video where I did a side-by-side -side comparison of the 43, the 53, and the 63. I definitely think you should check that out because it really shows them side by side and all of the differences. They're subtle, but they're important. And so those threes, 43, 53, 63, all Highland goatskin. I think of the 53 as the flagship. So the 63, a 10 numbers larger, is a wider and thicker version. The 43, 10 numbers less, is a smaller and thinner version. That's kind of the standards. Then we jump over here and things start to get a little bit fun. This right here is the 52. So the 52 is very similar to the 53. It's only one number away. The, the main difference is gonna be the cover. This is a Mariva calfskin cover. You can see it's much smoother than the pebbly grain of the goatskin. But also the 52 has slightly shorter ribbons. It does not have a full yap. And as I mentioned earlier, it was bound by Royal Youngblood in the Netherlands. 
Those are the only differences from the 53. On the inside, it's exactly the same text block. One more over here, the 62, same thing. Versus the 63, it's the same on the inside, but it has a different leather material, slightly smaller yap, shorter ribbons, bound in the Netherlands versus in England. So the 62 and the 63 are calfskin versions of the 53 and the 63. It's hard for me to keep up with this while I go through it. Very beautiful Bibles. You have to kind of decide which aesthetic look you like. I would say that the calfskin is a little bit softer and a little bit floppier, but it's still very beautiful. So that's the 52 and the 62. And then the last one I want to show you here is called the 53C. So all of these Bibles that I've showed you so far have at the back of the Bible a dictionary, an index, a concordance, Bible maps, and line notebook paper. Five things. Dictionary, index, concordance, maps, notebook paper. The C stands for cyclopedic concordance. So instead of all of that, you still get the lined notebook paper and the maps, but instead of the dictionary index concordance, you get what's called the cyclopedic concordance, which is basically a concordance on steroids. It's this vintage concordance from Oxford that's really cool. They do it in a couple different Bibles. And so that's what the C is. It has the rest of the same specs as the 53. So it's a 53C. This is a special edition they did where it has the red speckled page edges, which is really cool. I like that one a lot. So it's definitely unique. But these six Bibles, right? They, they've made other long primers over the years. I think the 51 was out there for a little while. But these six are the ones that are currently kind of the standards that they make. Every now and then they'll do a, a special run, a limited edition, or an anniversary of the long primer, but these are the standards. You have the, the 43, 53, 63, all uh, Highland goat skin, 52, 62, slightly different aesthetics, and it's made with calf skin, and then the 53C, which has that cyclopedic concordance instead of what comes with them. That's the, that's the line right there, and it's hard to keep those numbers in, your, in, like, in sync in your mind, but that's the main differences between all these Bibles. Again, I have a comparison video of the 43, 53, and 63. I also did a comparison between the 52 and the 53, the 62, and the 63. So that kind of helps you see them side by side. And all of these Bibles, I have done full reviews where I walk through them, I show you all the specs and do like a, a fine tooth comb of all these Bibles. This video is just a quick overview to show you what it's all about. But these are fantastic Bibles. I really love them. And again, I think everybody should have a long primer in their house. So I'm going to put links in the description of this video to where you can find these, where you can learn more about them, and some of the links to those videos that I talked about. If you enjoyed this, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that like button, and definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is a fun place for us to talk about the Bible, and I do a lot of different videos, not just, not just videos on the long primer. But again, check out that playlist, that long primer playlist, if you want to check out more of those. And definitely look for us on Instagram and Facebook. We have a great Bible review blog community out there, and I would love for you to be a part of it. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely leave me a comment and ask any questions you have and I will get back to you. I appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.